Fox Gun Commentary begin. What is up, folks? My name is Skunk Commentary, and today I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about a thing that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time. And this topic is we're gonna talk about OnlyFans and how it is actually dangerous for the user. So I'll first make this clear: this is not a hate video against people who use OnlyFans or people who are like sex workers, as they call it themselves. And this is reasons why you should not become it. And this is more of a warning sign of everything that is negative with it, which I think outweighs the positives. Yeah, this video will get controversial, but take this as a warning rather than a Oh, you use OnlyFans, you bad! Take this as a warning instead. And here are some reasons why it's really bad for people and how it literally is, you know, something bad for society in general. Because I'll be first begin with this video with that sex work is not good. And firstly, if you decide to, you know, become an OnlyFans star, as we'll call it for the video, because then you won't be able to get the job from in the future because of what you do. With. More and more jobs firing people because they have an OnlyFans. More and more people get in trouble because of it. There has been multiple stories of people who work as like a, uh, let's say, a teacher got actually fired for being an OnlyFans star. And it was also at a Catholic school, so I can honestly get that a bit more, but you know, still, it is, it will hurt job life. You decide to, you know, do this as your job of work or choice of work and reason number two for why only is bad and you your family will be put in a really bad situation what do you mean by this well there are multiple stories of families like disowning family member after they've started an only fans or families actually family members kids being bullied because their mom works with fucking only fans let's repeat that kids get bullied because of what their parents and the parents are like oh this is just a normal job it's like a let's say a working as a mechanic or at a car dealership no it's not this job is selling your body online. And no, if you don't care about your family, at least care about yourself, because this can, this can also be harmful for your mental health. Like, you're getting disowned by the people who know you. Your family doesn't want anything to do with you, because you sell your body online like it's a fucking chainsaw that you're renting out for people to cut on trees. Your body comes knob, and this will have horrendous effect on your mental health. Like, here's a bit of a story time from the skunk. I once knew a girl who worked on OnlyFans. I did not know she was an OnlyFans model when I was texting with her. I found that out later. And in every picture, she looked either sad or she had a fake smile and honestly I believe that no that she got hurt by it And this leads on to another reason why it's harmful for your mental health Dating will become almost impossible because you are an object and I'm not saying this lightly if you do on the fans You're an object like honestly you're just something that people shove their dick into or a dildo in. That is everything an only fans model is to their fans or viewers or whatever you want to call it They are nothing but something to shove a dick in. That is honestly dangerous for you. Because if that is all you are, world around you, are you even something to begin with? That is my question. And also, a lot of guys don't want to date someone who works with having a dick shoved into them. Because your most intimate moment is something you sell for a fiver. Just think that. Imagine if you wanted to date an old fans model. Every time you decide to, you know, have a little of the adult wrestling games, that is gonna go up on, on, on the internet. Everyone will see your girlfriend genital, your girlfriend's breast, and everyone will see your dick in everyone. And and on, nothing that is released on the internet can be erased. The internet is unerasable. Erase Annabelle. Is that in a real world? Who cares at this point? And as a man, as a young, strong man who looks like Arnold <laughs> when he was in Terminator, I do not look like that. That's besides the point. Uh, I would not date an only because, you know, intercourse, that is something you have with the person, just the two, or some more if you go to an orgy. But that is beside the point. And I'm gonna also ask my boy, my dear editor, Satan, who's, all, who's editing this video, go give him a fucking subscribe. Um, would you date someone who is selling their body? No. Yeah. The next reason is that I'll return a little bit to the fact that you will not be able to get a job in the future from this. You can't live on this forever. And the amount of people who do only fans, only a certain few actually can live off of this for their entire life. And for the normal mortals, uh, they will grow older. They will, you know, their tits will begin to sag. Their ass will begin to sag, their pussy will not be as attractive anymore, or whatever. Uh, they will become less and less attractive the more the years go by. And no amount of surgery can save your work life when you're 60 and keep you attracted by them. I mean, sure, there are some people who like... The amount of accessibility to your content will go down more your age. If you are having an OnlyFans, the age you should get it at is like 20, because that is when you're most attracted. But you can only live for that for on like 10 years and this business will die sooner or later. This business is already dying slowly but steadily. Just like you know, YouTube is slowly dying. Only fans too. And also when you're becoming a parent, not be as attractive, you'll also have to quit your work for nine months, you know, plop out a kid. And if you're trying to restart that life and restart his family, it won't work. Also, 
Also, also, also, think about how your kid will be when he finds out, oh, mom went to Pound Town and I'm seeing it now. Damn, I want to die. Or my classmate said, oh, why did your mom go on Pound Town with some random dude? Probably the mailman. Imagine that. That kid would never trust his parents again on that. And you want to be nice to your kids, don't you? So, yeah, if you want kids, don't do OnlyFans. If you want to traumatize your kids and you're evil, sure, go ahead. But, you know, for the sake of your kids, please. And this is so fucked. Another reason why it's bad for you is that your fans or followers, whatever you want to call it, they suffer too from it. There are multiple videos online explaining this, and I'll only, you know, dip my toes into this water, so to say. And if you want a better video on this topic, I'd recommend checking out Moon's video. It is a lot more detailed, it also explains a lot more than I can do. But, and if you want more videos about it, I will make another video about this whole topic and this iceberg that I've delved, that I've delved into right now. And your fans will suffer because this culture that OnlyFans brought up, where girls are just objects, you can pay and you have a girl kinda basically, that is not good. And you no, know, in this culture where men already have a really bad self esteem from platforms like Tinder, this is not gonna help at all. Because they get their next dopamine hit just by paying you five dollars, beating the meat, you know, punching that meat. Um, and this just make a bad culture become more and more common. These men get low gets lonelier and lonelier and same with you as an OnlyFans artist. You get lonelier and lonelier the more videos you put. You're not gonna get popular by showing your ass cheeks on fucking internet. Remember the whole like Mia Khalifa situation? She wants to change. She does not want to be you know, an OnlyFans or a porn star anymore. She is in one of the worst situations ever. People do not respect her anymore for what she is doing. She can't get out of this. She is stuck and if you want that to be you, then quit OnlyFans now before you've even begun. Don't bring up the idea in your head. Don't think about it. Throw that thing out your window because jobs right now, it's really easy to get a job. So get a job instead. Sure, it might not pay as well as your a top 1% on OnlyFans, but it will be better in the long run for you because you'll be happier. Your mental health is gonna take a huge shit. And this applies to men too. Don't download OnlyFans. Because if you have that contact with a girl who does not give a fuck about you, do you even have contact with that person anymore? No. Does that person care about you? No. An OnlyFans model do not care about their fans. They see them as an income. Just like if you're at a cafe, if you work at a cafe, it's not like when you meet customers, it's not like you care too much about what happens after they pay. That is my behavior. Sure, you're like trying to be nice and all that, but to be honest, you will forget about them in about a month at max. Sure, there are sometimes those customers that bit of a an imprint on your mind, but you'll still just forget it. You don't have any connection with the customer. Unless it is a customer that has been going to this place for day after day after day. And still, these men also who pay for it, they'll get more and more lonely. And that is also a cause of the pandemic. Because that was when OnlyFans popped up when everyone was at their loneliest. And the last point I have right now at least is that this is prostitution. No matter what you say. You know, saying, oh, it's sex work. It's not. I mean, if sex work is a synonym for prostitution, yes. But otherwise, Making a line between them, no. Just because you're not having intercourse with the person who pays for it doesn't mean that it's not prostitution. The thing is, you're still selling your body for a fiver. And when people can like type in what their fantasies is and you'll do them for a certain amount of money, that is basically prostitution. You're selling your body for money. This And the worst part is that people say, This is empowering. You're a powerful woman now where you can show your tits on, on fucking every website ever. No, not empowered. You'll feel worse after you've done it. You might not be like when the per first paychecks rolls in and you're like, yes, I'm gonna get rich, I'm gonna be a rich bitch. You're an ob object. This is ruining your life bit by bit. Every time these girls upload a video, their life is going worse. <laughs> sure, it might be nice with the money flow, but in the long run, this will hurt you bad. And also, if you plan on like buying an OnlyFans, don't do that either. Firstly, there's much better stuff you can find for free if you just use Google. But still, you should not, still not, you know, beat your meat too much either, because that'll become unhealthy after a while too. In the sense that you get an addiction and it'll start hurting your life in general. But this is still, this whole iceberg is a big issue. I'll link some videos down in this, a lot of these parts better. And also, I'm also gonna say this about OnlyFans. Working on OnlyFans, you're just one piece in a big system. Just a cog in a machine. If you, OnlyFans company, see you quit, they don't care. If you die, they don't care. If you get hurt in some way, they don't care. You're just one cog in them. They earn so much cash. 
from you know, the big models that you don't care or you don't matter. That's why I made this video. And if you're planning to start only path, don't. There's so much better things you can do with your life. Honestly, this video was just tragic to make. And until next time, my name is Gun Commentator. Talking about how OnlyFans is ruining our society. The one I had lost faith in for such a long time ago. <laughs> Signing out.